Well, in 2015, as a response to the unprecedented Ebola outbreak, we took steps forward at Texas Children's to be prepared on a long-term basis for any emerging infectious disease, including Ebola, MERS, and now COVID-19. That includes uh, building a special isolation unit out at our West Campus in Katy. It is an eight-bed, true biocontainment unit capable of all levels of isolation um, with technology including HEPA filtration laminar airflow, um, special technology to communicate between patients and families. Um, and uh, above the unit itself, we have an incredibly well-trained expert team of individuals, including physicians, nurses, respiratory therapists, medical technologists, who are all prepared and train every three months to take care of any child with any highly infectious disease. We were designated as an Ebola treatment center for children back in 2015 and built this unit, um, which at, its t at the time was the first pediatric special isolation unit or biocontainment unit in the country. Um, we are still one of the largest and the only one within the Southwest region, including the, uh, what's capable for Texas. Um, there are several others now who have built units uh, capable of caring specifically for children, but we are still one of the few um, and a very unique uh, unit in itself. We built this unit um, and with it trained a, a special team and have worked closely with the National Ebola Treatment Center, um, Training Center, and then the CDC as well. And we strictly follow CDC guidelines um, who help us shape our protocols and procedures and even training. Um, we are proud to say that we can offer this unit um, and these capabilities to all of Texas um, and regionally as well. We do have eight beds um, with the capability and plans to be able to surge um, and take care of as many patients as we need to within our hospital organization with COVID-19 or any other highly infectious disease. But I'll say those eight beds and building the unit alone five years ago has really allowed us to think about infectious diseases and emerging infections as an organization on a higher level than we would have without the unit. So we have worked hard on preparedness, what an emerging outbreak would look like, how we would respond, how we would screen. And because we have those protocols in place, we were able to um, upload those quickly into our organization, begin screening weeks ago, um, and are really highly prepared for outbreaks and pandemics, um, more so than we would have been without such a unit. When we look at isolating patients, it's really patients within the hospital who require hospitalization. And we want to be careful um, as an organization to protect the community and to protect our staff and healthcare workers. And so patients who are admitted, um, either with concern for COVID-19 or a positive test, will be admitted to our isolation unit. Those Kids on the outside world, outside of the hospital, who have symptoms such as cough and cold and fever, which could be anything, we ask that you talk to your PCP, or primary um, health care provider, call before you come in, um, discuss that with your health care providers, and if you can, isolate at home. Um, if you don't need to be seen, it is okay to isolate at home, just like you should do with any other virus, whether that be flu uh, or COVID-19. And then those who do need treatment, call ahead, um, be, let your physician know that you're coming so they can isolate you if needed. Um, and then if you have uh, concerns for COVID-19, we will figure out the appropriate way to get you tested.